It's day 16. This is the final day of training camp, and last night changed everything. One positive test has paralyzed us for the moment. I think we're going to have to call it a night. This is a, a curveball. We're not going to take any chances. We're going to stop training camp. We have sent everybody in their individual rooms. We are going to quarantine for 14 days, but yet we've already had decisions made, and I don't want people to wait 14 days for us to call them and say you're cut. The way we're going to have to deliver this message virtually via Zoom is awful for me, awful for Judy, awful for them. Mm -hmm. Hi, Lily. Hi. Appreciate your patience. We were planning on talking with you last night, and we had a delay of game. Absolutely. I completely understand. This year, the judges' votes are not coming in in your favor to be on a squad of 36. Obviously, wish I would have known before now. Frankly, we didn't you know, see it right off the bat. It's as we start making, you know, the final decisions for the smaller team is when there were some flashbacks of Lily before your first year on the dance notes. But I do think I bring good qualities to this team. It is um, heartbreaking, I guess, for lack of better words, if I will not continue to, to wear this uniform. Is that what you're telling me in this conversation that I am, I will no longer be on this team? I'm sorry, the scores are not ranking you on this year's team. I do want to leave. You guys know how grateful I am. I am very, very appreciative for my here on the team. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, guys. I'm ready, Judy. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Brandon. Hi. I've been going through your dance notes over the past years. Your first year has been your strongest year when you actually made the team. And then this year, it feels like maybe there's a little decline on some of the choreography and performance. So that's what brought us to this conclusion. But the bottom line is, Brennan, we're moving forward with the team of 36. And the judging is not landing you in the top 36 to make this team this year. OK. Thank you for what you have been to this team. and. Thank you for being that role model and the ambassador and the asset that you've been to this team. I have a lot of things I want to say. I'm not going to go out on a negative note. I mean, I give everything to this team. Being a role model to young girls and um, for me personally, it's really disappointing to see the direction that the team is going because I think it's about being America's sweethearts. It's about being well-rounded, educated, well-spoken, and yes, a great performer as a part of that. But I truly believe that I exude every single one of those things and have continued to do that. It's a really sad night for DCC. I already know Lily's been cut. This is just really sad. Okay. Multiple times that I've had to walk away being cut and I've always walked out with my dignity and been very proud of how I left, and I just want to make sure I leave it on that note. I respect that. I'm afraid the next one's going to be worse. Hello. Hi. Are you in the hallway? Yes, ma'am. Are you not in your room? No, ma'am, I'm not in the hall. How come? Just comforting my friends. Hannah, we're making final cuts tonight, and we wanted to call you and talk to you personally about where you are. Yes, ma'am. You're not scoring as high as we would like a third-year veteran to score. Consistently, our comments have been that we need to see a stronger presence. You're right. My solo might not have been the best this year, but... No, I thought your solo was where Hannah came back with a vengeance. 
It's the palm choreography that seems to have faded a bit. I mean, Hannah, you're so smart and you've been so honest and you're extremely photogenic. It's the palm choreography and the precision part of the dancing. For a third year, we'd like to see this part of the audition and training camp be stronger, and that just doesn't seem to be the case. That's where we are tonight. That is where you are. I don't want to drag this out out of respect for you. I'm sorry that tonight is your last night. I understand that's a choice you have to make, ma'am. I understand that this is your opinion. You have a group of very strong women here. You should be very proud of them. Okay, thank you. It's a shame because these could, two could make the team. We are in a very difficult decision part of our process. Mm -hmm. Ashlyn is a great dancer, but I think Ashlyn just needs more polish before we could put her on our team. Hi, Ashlyn. Can you hear me? Yes, there you are. Can you hear us? Yes. The bottom line is, is you're not scoring in the top 36. You're very close. You've got all the ingredients. We just, honestly, at this point, it comes down to, do we take somebody's uniform away to give it to Ashlyn? And the answer at this point is no. I really think you have what it takes, and you should come back. That's hard to think about that right now, and we understand that. Thank you, and I really appreciate the opportunity. It's been a dream come true being here, so thank you all so much. Have a great night. Thank you, good night. I think she has great potential. Oh, I do too. I bet she comes back next year and blows everyone away. I do too. Tori's been really great in training camp. She's a quick learner. She's a powerful dancer. The only thing not on Tori's side is the competition this year. It's just a harder year to make our team. Hi, Tori. Hi, how are you guys? Well, we are making calls and decisions toward our final team. And what we're faced with is you're right at the cusp of almost making the team. In your case, we think you could make this team. Everything from your dance to your power to your fit, everything is right. If we had more spots, you likely would make this team. There's no possible way I can, I mean, I literally have trained for this my whole life and I just, I wish that I would have gotten more of a chance to show you guys like how, how much I want this. You, you've done a great job. It's just not the right thing for the team to replace a veteran with you this year. You've been very impressive and I think you can make this team. It's just not happening this year. <laughs> but you did a great job. Please know that we mean that. Thank you. It hurts, but I'll come back even stronger. This is my dream, so I'm going to chase it. Thank you, seriously, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for that, for your attitude. That's I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. You'll have a good night. OK, good night. We ended abruptly, and I still feel like we need to have another rehearsal. This feels very loosely ended, and I don't feel like we are 100% at our final conclusion. Hi, everybody. Hi. Well, we're back. Yeah. I need to say this because I want to get it off my heart. The way we ended training camp was not ideal. The veterans, y'all lost some teammates in this selection process, and I know how that feels. When I was a rookie, I was a rookie with my friend named Tina. And when we sat side by side at an audition, my number was called and hers wasn't. And it was shocking, it was devastating. I was mad, I was angry, I was sad. I know how you feel, and I respect how you feel. 
the four veterans that lost their position on the team, it, it, bring, it brings me to tears too. So I just want y'all to know that. On the other part of that, I believe in our process. This is a competition and we are a team of excellence. And the fact that we're going to make obviously very uncomfortable decisions is reality. Today's rehearsal really matters. We have 17 days before a home NFL football game. Okay, so let's start. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four. One, two, don't come up early. Four. And look at your diagonals. They're not diagonals. Sharp and two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. You're there. You have to make it, Darian, one more time. Same place. Here we go. early. Sydney, do you know when to go? Some of the rookies have had some issues trying to piece this all together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, y'all. Come on. I'm, we're telling y'all where to start. Think. Danny, you're a slow thinker. Finding my spot's definitely hard. We keep moving from formation to formation, and it's hard to remember the choreography as you're moving, and at the same time, you really want to impress Kelly and Judy because big decisions are coming, and the team's almost announced. Good rehearsal. Our signature routine is hard to get through, but it's gonna be very important because every game before the game starts, we're gonna see y'all performing that on the big screen. When that song comes on, everyone gets pumped up. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I haven't had a chance to see the ladies. Welcome to AT&T Stadium. Phil is storming into our final pink and blue meeting in classic Phil style. He's like Santa Claus. Y'all know my name is Phil Whitfield. I just want to come tell y'all I want to come show the love. Welcome to DCC Pile. I got a very special lady, though, that I want y'all to show your love to. Y'all give us all some love now. Come on, Miss Charlotte. They are seeing Charlotte for the first time, and I think it's about to get really special. to be here with you. Welcome back to AT&T Stadium. You know, I know that everyone has had to overcome a lot of challenge and obstacles to be sitting here on this turf today. I could not be more proud of each and every one of you. We had over 1,500 applications, and now for it to be narrowed down to those of you who we see here on the field, what an incredible accomplishment. Ladies, you are the 2020 Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. <laughs> Handing out the uniforms to the ladies this year in particular, we are giving out uniforms against all odds. I'm so excited for you guys. Veterans. I think this year of all years, we are all excited to be able to give you your veteran Highly earned, well-deserved, already danced in uniform back so that you can lead this team properly. So, Phil, come on. We did not forget anyone. Guess what? We have a team. come true. I just felt every single emotion in the book. Going through training camp, there were days where I wanted to give up. Every time I would get in my head, I would stop and say, you know, Jada, you can do this. You're here for a reason. Jada, baby girl, you got it back there. I definitely learned that I'm a strong woman, and if there's something I set my mind to, I can definitely achieve it. I 
just feel so honored to be wearing this uniform. I already feel like I have such a family and sisterhood. Get ready to ride. It's been a long journey, but a good one. I think the biggest struggle for me during training camp was the physical exhaustion from just rehearsing every day. Are you okay? Go sit down and get some water. Trash can. How are you? I feel so much better, hydrated, refreshed. Sydney, looking stronger tonight. I've learned that when I set my mind to something, more than likely I can achieve it. And I'm going to be the best version of Sydney I can possibly be. Be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader is something that I've worked so very hard for my entire life, having to overcome so many obstacles. Your dance teacher said you'd never make it in dance. Aww. Do you believe in yourself? Use that as kind of a fire. My mom always says that you're saying no if you don't try. So just trying is the most important thing to me. y'all dance and you did in two hours what we normally do in two months. I wish all of your parents could have seen the performance y'all just gave. It was great. Thank you. Every other year they've had the moment with their families present getting to do the signature dance. Their families don't get to share this moment. So I hope, gosh, I hate getting emotional about it, but I felt like we had to stand in for every mom and dad. I'm very proud. I hope you guys can sense that, and I hope you're proud of yourselves. This has been a truly an epic journey. We have a game in 17 days. Our plans are to be in the end zones. It's a huge stage. It's a great way to showcase your talent in a new way. To be on this team right now is against all odds. So congratulations, very proud. There's so much that these ladies could walk away with from this experience. They've learned a great deal about being independent. From being in our bubble, oh, wow. being away from their families, not even having roommates, they were on their own. Somehow, amidst all this chaos, this team this season, this training camp, will be one of my proudest moments with the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. I'm always impressed with these independent, fearless women that are also great performers. I will never forget this season. One, two, three, see, see, see. Ah!